day of pride here, but also one of reckoning. It began with ceremonial. President Zelensky, as so often, centre stage. Slava Ukraini! And down below, on Kiev's main street, people strolled in the sunshine, inspecting a column of knocked out Russian armour. The enemy was driven from the gates of this city 16 months ago, but the price to the nation continues to rise. For Alexander and Lyubov, donning national dress to celebrate, this second wartime Independence Day has been a moment for reflection about what lies ahead. At the Jesuit church in Lviv, the city that's the jewel of Western Ukraine, we got an insight a few days ago into the depth of this country's sacrifice. This was a memorial service for two young lives snuffed out in the war. <laughs> a mother still struggling to make sense of it. No sooner was that service over than a colour party formed up outside. National Guardsman Andriy Onishka, killed at the front, was returning to his home city. It's actually illegal here to reveal how many of these personal tragedies there have been, but the Pentagon estimates 70,000 Ukrainians have been killed in this war.